Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with episode number 26 of the pack Only Road to Glory. Now as you can see on screen, uh, oh it's just disappeared, we are halfway through our second season in, Divas Divasion? in Division 1. We've, uh, we've played five games and uh, we've got six points so we're halfway through and halfway towards the 12 points we need for survival in this second season. We come up against a decent French side in, uh, in the first game. Some average players in there with uh, Bakary Sanya, Patrice Evra, the uh, upgraded Paul Pogba and then some good players in there with obviously Benzema, Jeremy Menez, Inform Paye, Nazri, Hugo Lloris etc. So it was going to be a tough game but uh, this one to be completely honest was a bit of a write off for me and him because uh, he actually was from France. He played with the guy in France and uh, the lag as you can see on screen was horrific. It would run smoothly for a while and then would just completely slow down and be basically unresponsive for uh, for periods and uh, it was just extremely extremely hard to uh, to make any sort of chances but uh, I thought initially it was going to be a case if whoever got the first goal was actually going to go on to uh, to win the game and Polly here pops up with that first goal of the game to give us a 1-0 lead after 30 minutes terrific strike actually from uh, about 25 yards right into that top right hand corner and uh, as you can see at half time we are completely dominant even in the menus it's lagging as well at seven shots to his one 60 possessions to his 39 or to his 40 rather and uh, you know I thought yeah this game's pretty much in the bag and then he popped up just a few minutes after after half time manages to get the ball through to Sami Nasri I couldn't get near him either because of the lag or just because the ball was uh, that good really into the box and they pops the ball into the back of the net with a tidy finish actually chest and volley into the back to uh, underneath the keeper into the back of the net so he brought it back to 1-1 and then just before the hour mark just a few minutes later we were actually able to get back in front Voron is going to square the ball across here really don't know why uh, why Lloris rushed out there I think he just had to hurdle over the uh, the defender that had made the uh, overhead clearance and unfortunately for us it dropped to Polly again picks up his second and our second of the game to uh, to give us a 2-1 lead and we pushed on from there Voron is going to turn find the man inside which is Suso is going to cut inside and find his way into the box and uh, with the connection as it is I really don't feel too bad about squaring that one to Bosajor in the slightest because it just had to be done especially considering he then went up the other end in uh, basically the 90th minute right at the end of the game and was actually going to make it uh, make it 3-2 with uh, a squared ball of his own to, uh, to Martin and that is how this one finished so thankfully we were able to pick up three points there. You can see how dominant we were. 18 shots, 12 on target. Hugo Lloris is a pretty good goalkeeper, to be completely honest. He just kept me out. But uh, we're three points away now from safety. And if we win every single game remaining in the season, all four, then uh, we will win the title. Now, while my PVR uh, kind of crapped out on the, the, the beginning of this episode, or this particular game I didn't get to show you the team but it was a very very decent Premier League side but Balas Sudzak there with a tidy finish with the Ronaldo chop and then the finesse across keeper and then my PVA kind of cut out again I'm not too sure why it's doing that but uh, I missed his first goal and then Sami Nasri here races away in the 45th minute in uh, kind of second or first half stoppage time rather so it's put him 2-1 up as we went in at the break and then we pushed on into the second half we're actually able to get ourselves back in it Fernando here slide it through to Voronin who gets away from his defence is going to slide it underneath Joe Hart in goal to bring us back level at 2-2 and I felt confident pushing forward that I was actually going to be able to win this one because this guy really wasn't very good at the game to be completely honest it was just a case of the fact that his players were a lot faster than mine and uh, Darren Bent scored his opener I think and then how Ramirez has managed to get that header inside that near post I have no idea extremely disappointed in the goalkeeper there but he went through to up in the 84th minute with that from Ramirez was a decent header but keeper really should have uh, kept that out but Park there with a great turn to get away from the defender then another tidy slotted ball underneath the goalkeeper to bring us back onto level terms for a third time and uh, that is how the game was going to end although we had a great chance a great chance to make it 4-3 here Voronin gets away from the last defender and all he's got to do is play the same slight same kind of slided finish underneath the goalkeeper that he played for uh, for his goal and uh, he just couldn't do it and that is how the game finished but again you can see we were dominant same with the other game a lot of chances a lot of possession but unfortunately the goalkeepers were just too good for us and uh, our strikers weren't good enough to uh, to be clinical enough and give us three points. So that is the title out of our reach. However, we do still need two points to ensure survival. So we've got three games left with uh, with two points to get. So do be sure to leave the video a like, guys, if you could be so kind. That would be absolutely superb. Of course, links in the end slate on screen to uh, the previous video in this series and in the little window to a random video from earlier on in the week on this channel. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.